my dear students in this video we are going to continue with the uh, stacks representation of stacks in memory so here there are two different methods in which we are going to represent stack in memory the first one is static representation using arrays which is fixed in nature dynamic representation using a linked list so which is variable in nature so let us continue with the first one array representation of a stack so that is the static structure or a fixed structure here you can see in the diagram here we have got a array that consisting of number of elements and the subscript starts from 0 1 2 3 so on and here we can see one pointer called as top top is a pointer pointing to null for the first time once it is incremented it points to the zeroth location and next it is point to first location and the second index and so on so it is called as stack grows in this direction here you can see in the diagram below for the first time there are three elements to be inserted in this particular array but right now it is empty and now we are adding one element which goes and settle at the bottom and second element we want to insert so we will be able to insert elements from the same end that is only from one end is called as top end so from the top we are inserting the second element in order to remove the first element we require to remove first second element out and then we will be able to remove the first element this is how the stack works algorithm for push operation so let us continue with the algorithm step one if top is equal to n minus one here you can say the top is a pointer which is pointing to the highest element that is the last element n minus one then the stack is full so it is going to print stack is full and then it is going to exit and end of if step two if it is not true then this part will get executed so here top is equal to top plus one means what earlier it was initialized to top is equal to minus one that is pointing to nothing that is null pointer if we increment the value of top by one it will become zero because top is equal to minus one plus one gives me what minus one plus one will get cancelled top is equal to zero will come right so top is pointing to what zero the index that is the first element in the array step three stack of top is equal to item so the item that is to be pushed or the element that is to be pushed at this particular location of stack and step four it is going to return the item now it's time to have a programming example to show how the push operation works on stack for that i will take you to my laptop screen here uh, we have already written write a program to perform push items into the stack let us continue with the preprocessor directives that is hash include io stream dot h next hash include Conio dot h then we'll use hash include std lib dot h header file because this is required uh, because we are going to use one inbuilt function of this particular header file exit function so next we'll continue with the hash define so that is global declaration n that is 5 now we'll write wide name curly open brace and here we are going to declare all the variables and the array called stack and here in a square bracket we are going to write capital n next variable is i ele is element next we will write top is equal to minus 1 so that is indicated it is pointing to the null pointer next we have got choice is equal to 1 so one represent here it is always true now here we'll use clr scr function and then we'll use while looping structure and in while we are going to write choice choice is equal to one hence 
this enters into infinite number of times it is going to iterate certain set of statements which are declared within this while loop statement so here let us write c out and in a double quotation mark backward slash n and here i'm going to write stack operations and we'll use backward slash n and backward slash n so in order to provide the space in between and then we'll continue here only as number one so that is used for pushing the items so here we'll write push backward slash n it has come down to the next line and then we'll write two and here it has to display the content backward slash n and the third one is exit so it must terminate here backward slash n and then put semicolon now we are going to write c out backward slash n and here we will write enter your choice then we will use scene choice switch statement we are going to use switch is a keyword and inside this switch statement we will use choice as expression next we will use case label 1 and then colon here we will write c out enter the element to be pushed here we will take scene element that is to be pushed now we will use the condition if top is equal to n minus 1 then it is full correct is curly open brace here we are going to display the information to the end user as stack is full now we will write get ch it should take at least one character and then it has to exit so this particular function is present in std lib.h header file so next put semicolon then curly closing brace and we are going to write else part and in else part we are going to write statements such as c out in a double quotation mark before that we will write here element that is to be inserted is inserted at position correct so here we are going to write top is equal to otherwise we will say top is equal to top plus one otherwise we will say top plus one or, or else we will write top plus plus okay next here we will write top plus plus next stack of top is equal to element is to be inserted at this particular point next we will write here break statement then we will go to case 2 let us uh, case 2 colon and here we will write c out content of stack is and then colon backward slash n and i want to display all the elements which are present in the stack so here we'll write if top is equal to minus one then it is empty correct yes here we'll display the information such as stack is empty otherwise uh, we will write here get ch it has to take one character at least and then we will uh, use else part so for this also we are going to use curly open brace and for this also curly closing brace and then we will use else part and here we are going to write the looping structure for i is equal to top then i is greater than or equal to 0 
एंड आई माइनस माइनस बिकॉज यूल हैव टू कम फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक यस हियर विल राइट सी आउट इन अ डबल कोटेशन मार्क यूर गोइंग टू राइट स्टैक एंड इन अ स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सो यू कैन यूज इंसर्शन ऑपरेटर एंड हियर विल यूज आई एंड अगेन यूज इंसर्शन ऑपरेटर एंड पुट इन अ डबल कोटेशन मार्क सो दैट इट कैन प्रिंट एज इट इज दैट इज स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट एंड इक्वल टू साइन एंड हियर अगेन इंसर्शन ऑपरेटर एंड हियर वील राइट द वैल्यू स्टोर इन स्टैक ऑफ आई पोजिशन हियर वील यूज यंडल फाइन सो हियर वील राइट नेक्स्ट ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट curly closing brace here you can use curly open brace curly closing brace for this else part and now we'll write case 3 and in case 3 we're going to use the function exit which is present in std lib.h header file now we'll use break statement in order to come out of this particular case label and then we have got at the end default statement has to execute so default see out invalid choice so curly closing brace for this switch statement and curly closing brace for while loop and here we are going to use get ch and here one more curly closing brace for closing main function now let us compile this program and here you can see there is error so let us check okay it should be double equal to sign again compile errors so possibility incorrect assignment so here again take double equal to sign and compile errors so compound statement is missing here just check it out where exactly we left out so this else part has to get closed okay fine again click on compile success there is no error click on run now you can see here so stack operations the first operation is push second operation is display and the third operation is exit so let us uh, first display for the first time it should be empty correct yes here you can see the content of stack is empty because we have not yet pushed any element again uh, click on run here you can see now it is asking us to you can press 1 to push 2 to display and 3 to exit now we are going to press 1 to push the element enter the element to be pushed so now i am going to enter 10 so you can see here 10 is inserted at 0 means it is the index number 0 so again i want to push one more element again i am going to press choice 1 now i want to insert 20 you can see 20 is inserted at 1 now again i am going to press 1 here the element to be pushed is 30 here you can see 30 is inserted at 2 now again i am going to press 1 and next is 40 so four elements we have already inserted the 40th is inserted at position 3 now again i am going to insert one more element so that is 50 so this should be the last element after this it has to show that the stack is full let us press the choice as one again and now we'll try to enter 60 so here you can see stack is full here once again we will uh, run this program and we are going to push the elements 1 10 One again. Next element is twenty. One again. Thirty. One again. Next forty. One again. Next fifty. And now I want to display all the elements which are pushed into the stack by displaying by pressing two. So here you can see stack zero consisting of ten, stack of one consisting of twenty, stack of two consisting of thirty, and stack of three consisting of forty, and stack of four consisting of fifty. Now we want to exit. You can press three to exit. 